So here's how you can soft reset your iPhone. I've mentioned in the title, the iPhone 14, but it basically works for every single iPhone out there. But let me first explain what the actual soft reset actually is, because I assume that some people are just not familiar with this term. Anyways, as you use your iPhone normally throughout the day, it stores a lot of temporary data in its memory, such as app data, cache files, and system processes, or other stuff like this. And over time, this data can build up a lot and cause your iPhone to slow down or even become unresponsive. Additionally, certain software or app updates can cause conflicts or bugs that affect the performance of your iPhone. This isn't really the case a lot, but still happens. Uh, So that's where a soft reset can come in handy. By performing a soft reset, you're essentially clearing out some of the temporary data and restarting the iPhone's operating system. So it's like a fresh start for all the processes which can help resolve minor issues and improve the performance of your iPhone. But the main difference is that our soft reset generally doesn't delete any information, any data from your iPhone, unlike the hard reset that leaves you with an empty iPhone and usually this isn't something we want. Okay, but how do you actually do it? Well, in order to do the soft reset, you'll need to quickly click the volume up, the volume down button, and hold down on the sleep-wake button. It's just a fancy term for the power button on the side right here, but you need to perform it relatively quickly and at the same time. So again, quick and release the volume up, click and release the volume down, and then hold down on the power button. At first, you'll see the regular slider to turn it off. You don't touch it. You don't do anything but holding on the power button. And you do it until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. Then you can release the button and let your iPhone restart. Once the iPhone runs again, you'll then be able to use it normally, and you'll likely notice a slightly better performance. I also want to say that it is, in fact, a different method compared to just sliding to power off. Because take a look at this. When you regularly hold on the volume down and the power button at the same time, the normal way to turn your device off, well, then you can see that this slider is located here above the other slider for SOS. However, when you perform the clicking gesture with the intention to, quote, soft reset the iPhone, then there is only one slider, so no SOS thing going on, and it's also positioned slightly more to the top. Not that it would be really that important. I'm just saying that it does, in fact, do a different thing software-wise. So yeah, this is how it works. And also, this is probably everything what I wanted to say in this video as well. If you liked it, if you found it valuable, and if it actually helped you out, then I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button under this video. And for more videos and tutorials like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and your support, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.